Hi homies, welcome back. How's things with you guys? These are looking magnificent as always. I have saw a couple of comments down below. This is through the playthrough as a whole, by the way. But I see a lot of you guys telling me how you guys look forward to coming in from um, from your work, from maybe doing university assignments, from doing college assignments, whatever it may be. And, uh, and I myself, having been through a lot of these things that I've just mentioned, I just want you guys to know that um, for the next half hour, me and Todd are going to look after you guys here. So sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the madness of all the uh, the fuck nuggets that we're about to meet here on File Island. So, 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 we are here at Dragon's Eye Lake. Now, there's a reason that we're here. And it's obviously to do a tiny spot of fishing. Now, just at the start of this episode before I headed along here, the only thing that I did off screen was stop in at the uh, at the shop. Dude, Todd is making... Todd, would you just relax? I'm going to need you to calm down, please. Thank you. No, we're not going to do this all day. Now, I just want to come here and catch a few fish because at the end of last episode, we managed to um, secure Metal Mammymon to come and join the city. And obviously, we can beat him in a spot of curling. Now, these fish out here are way, way bigger than the ones that we need to actually catch or to actually achieve to play against Metal Mammymon. We just need basic sized fish. I'm trying to figure out in Dragon's Eye Lake um, what's the best place to actually do this kind of fishing. Because uh, a couple of you guys were wanting to come back here and see what kind of fish were available now that we have the uh, the amazing rod. Now right now it's looking like all the fish are being absolute douchebags. So who knows what's going on there. Can we get any fish attracted? Yeah, thank you. I was starting to think there was some sort of weird function of the game that I'd never saw in which all the fish go to sleep at night time or something. Um, one thing I, I wanted to talk about to you guys uh, about fishing is something I really do. is that You can actually like hold the X button. Sometimes when you when you see this, you hear me like spam, 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 tapping my controller. You can actually just hold the X button down. Um, I've never done this before, but as you can see, it doesn't seem to be as effective. I don't know. Maybe that's just my opinion on the matter, but we're not going to spend too much time here. If anything, we're just going to catch one or two fish and then be uh, getting the fuck out of dodge, so to speak. This is this is like this one of the smallest fish I could catch, but look at the strength of this motherfucker. Dude, it's like... That was a digi snapper, <laughs> 60 centimeters long. Like what the fuck? All right. Anyways, let's get one more and uh, and and Jason out. Hooked. Fantastic. All right, and we're gonna bring this all the way to the bank. Awesome. One digi trout. Fuck it. Doesn't matter. We're gonna head back to the city. So yeah, the mansion is our top priority here today, um, guys. Now, I don't want to get in a battle with these fools. And there's also Jimmy here. Alright guys, we're back and we are in the Digimon curling rink. Now, as you can see, Penguinmon is not who he, we're here to um, give a doing, quote unquote. We are looking for Metal Mammymon. So, just as before, with a lot of these scenarios like Piximon in the shop and getting Metal Mammymon, Mammymon and Piximon to spawn in their locations in the world, we have to just keep entering until he appears. So, here he is, right here. So, let's talk to him. We have two chances to beat this guy and... As a, as we discussed before, he offers us a special prize, so we're gonna um, we're gonna try and steal that off him. Let's use our digi snapper first and see if we can beat him first time. Now, I have talked about this slightly in the past, but Metal Mammymon has a much different playstyle or a, a playstyle that is far different to Penguinmon. We actually get two spikes. That is so good here. Now we could actually go for the chi strategy where we plonk it in front of him, but at the same time we're kind of interested to see what this guy's got. So the last time I started off a curling game, my first shot was absolutely fucking woeful. So I'm going to try and concentrate here and land this directly in the center of the the good symbol. Now it looks like it's overshot a little bit, but maybe it stays in the the one point. Okay. So for future reference, we need to be for the. Uh, for the spiked dudes, we need to be directly in the center. That's uh, that's good to know. So we pick up a point. Let's see what this guy does. So I've heard that Penguinmon is super, super aggressive, but Mammymon is a bit more accurate with his shots. Now I don't know if that's a, uh, I don't know if that's completely true, but based on what we've just saw, his shots seem to be on point. So he is now one up, which is a lot, a lot more than Penguinmon ever could do. Now I want to try something, and I don't know if this is uh, a good idea, but. If we were to full power this, I don't know if we bounce off this, but do you know what? I'm up for a YOLO, so let's see if this actually works. I just want to smash this down there, and hopefully this roots in. 
So we actually have two points secured, guaranteed. Those will never move, but we have actually made a slight base around this circle. Let's see if this works against us. Um, that was quite a curious though, because he could have went for the good. Hmm, maybe he is actually playing some sort of strategy on us. We'll leave him there for now and go for this back bit, this good symbol down the bottom when we get our shot, because he's actually gone twice. Let's see. So, all oh, right, so he, maybe because he knew he was going twice, he wanted to put one to the side and then one in the center. That could have been a theory. We can definitely mess that up in a little while, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Rather than, um, I think what we'll do is we'll leave the big guy for that kind of deal. Let's um, let's throw this all the way down here onto this one because we have a pretty clear throw here. And as long as I don't mess this up, I look like, I, I think I might have messed that up. Holy shit. The, the story of Jack's life. That doesn't look like it's going to be enough, guys. I always, I should take more time before I take my shots to actually consider what I'm doing. Um, we get to go again here and that doesn't actually make me too pleased. Let's see if we can actually just nestle in here and take up some more of this this symbol here. We could continue to hit home on this one, but honestly, I don't know if that's a good idea. Let's just, uh, let's just do a small throw here and see if we can nudge him out and also nudge ourselves in. Okay, we're actually just going to nestle in beside him. So we've got a very busy middle circle going on here and he has two throws left. Let's see what he's going to do. Is he actually going to try and sabotage us? No, he's going for what looks like the back corner. Or is he bouncing off? I don't know. Oh, he's actually going to knock us off. Oh, dude, this guy's got moves. This guy actually has moves. All right, nice. So he puts, he gets another two points on the good symbol and then he fucking knocks us off. Are we going to go here? We are. Shit, right. We need to make this count. So guys... We have a few options here. We could try and get both of these on the good, but I don't know if that's a good idea. I think we need to make a power play, in all honesty. Now, if I smash this, if I smash this, we're most likely going to reverberate off that one. And then we lose our chance to get a lot of points, but we could also potentially knock him out. I don't know, guys. This is looking dicey. He obviously gets another move once we are done, so... I think we just have to go for the Hail Mary play, in all honesty. There's probably a better thing to do here, but honestly, we're just going to fucking ham salad this motherfucker straight down. Can we stay on there? I think we're I think we've just been beat. We've just been beat by Metal Mammy one, guys. Alright, there you have it. He obviously has a shot left, but he's ahead in points, so unless he fucking Unless he messes himself up here. Which he's obviously not gonna do. Oh, wait, is he gonna draw us? So he puts us into draw, but unfortunately this doesn't matter. You need to actually be ahead in points to beat him. For some reason, I guess the, the, the house always wins kind of deal. He actually beats us in our uh, in our game, so let's uh, let's have a quick rematch and uh, see if we can beat him again. And if not, then you know what? It doesn't matter. We can uh, we can always come back to this. So, did you try? Let's see if we can. We've got we've had our warm up game. Let's actually make this one count. So this is our last fish, and we want to uh, we want to do a bit better here. If I had not messed up my spike shots at the start, we would have been in a much better position. We actually pick up a spike again. So let's see if we can make this a little bit better. Now we have this guy in the way, which is kind of awkward in all honesty. But if I don't mess this up, we should be able to manage this. So a little bit less power than last time, just a smidge. We should be able to just glide on here. Come on, come on, baby. Keep coming, keep coming. That's not going to be enough. Motherfucker. So we're just a bit short, but at the same time, I guess that's okay. We really need to be doing better against this guy, I think. So... Let's see what he does. He looks like he's going to bounce off here. He's just going to slip. Oh, he is actually going to bounce off. Maybe, oh, he's trying to block. That's exactly what he's doing. He's blocking us from accessing the point down the bottom. Where's this going? Is this going straight into the center? He's not really accounting for the disc in the middle, but again, he could just be clearing a path. He has actually reduced our options here, so... Let's see what we can do. He has three big massive stones left, so we need to remember that. So he's going to have a lot of weight when throwing things around. We could knock him, hopefully, down to the bat. Let's try that. Let's see if we can make this happen. There's going to be a power shot, but we want him to reverberate down there. That might actually have been too much. I don't know where that curling stone's going. Hopefully it's not heading towards the good symbol. We pick up a point, but we're not actually in that good of a spot. Let's see what he does. I don't know where his stone went. It's down the bottom somewhere. He's looking like he's going for a bounce shot. And it's a heavy stone. And it's going to knock ours. Yep, it's going to knock ours off. So he's going for some sort of... Uh, I guess that was an aggressive play. Let's see if we can make a comeback here. So he isn't actually on the stone yet. So maybe if we just keep playing this as we have been, we can try and sort of um, 
try and make something happen here. Now, this is our big guy, so maybe... Oh, I can't actually... I want to go back and uh, pick a different stone, but I don't think the game's going to let me. Let's see if we can sneak around here. Now, I'm not very sure how much weight we need on this, so I'm just going to give it about this much. Is that going to be enough? That looks like it's pretty good, guys. All right. Is it going to creep on, please? Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, that's so sore. That hurts my feelings inside, genuinely. All right. What are we going to get off, off of this? That's going to bounce on there. So he's going to give himself what looks like two points. Please don't. Please don't. One point. All right. So he gets a point. Cool. And he has one stone left. We have two. We should be able to clutch this if we behave ourselves. So, unless he royally messes us up something chronic, we actually... And not landing on the point down here, I guess it's not too bad because we, we actually block him from being able to access that. Let's see if we can just make a safe play and uh, and go right here. We're going to try and knock him off a little bit as well and uh, see if we can stay on the good symbol. If he lands on the bad, that gives us all the sort of fuel we need. Please stay on there. Excellent. So he's going to go down. I think that's negative two points. Let's see. Or is it negative one? Yeah, negative two. Get fucked, son. Right. This, this turned out to be a lot more stressful than I anticipated. He needs to somehow make five points up. What can he do with this? He's going to have to try and land on one of the good symbols. Will knocking us off. Will knocking his off. I don't know. Dude, that was woeful. That was... Uh, that's not that's not the power play you needed to make, my friend. I think we actually beat him in the rematch, guys. All right, nice one. Let's say... Uh, let's give him a bit of disrespect here. Let's say... Uh, let's land on the bad symbol down in the corner. Just for a bit of a... Uh, for YOLO's... This actually doesn't look like it's going to make it, but. Alright, nice one. Whatever. We uh, we had a bit of practice there. I learned a bit more about Curlin for the next time we come back to hand this guy his ass. But obviously, we're more interested to see what our reward is here. So, this is actually taking up quite a chunk of the, the episode, but who cares, to be honest. We can make this extended if we have to. You're good, Wilfie. Here's the prize I promised. Let's see what he gives us. <laughs> No comments. We need to make a promise right here and now that we never discuss that. We never discuss that moment ever again. Metal Mammy Mon. Go fuck yourself. Dude, what a fucking troll. Alright. We're going to put that hideous moment in the Digimon playthrough behind us. And, uh, and move on with our lives. Right. We actually can do a spot of training before we head on. And the reason I want to do a tiny bit of training is because, uh, one, I want to get Todd's stats up a little bit more. But also because it's going to be a fresh day in a few hours and we can uh, we can benefit from Todd's full sleep and getting all of our HP back. So, that being said, we want to be training up our HP, MP and probably offense. So, let's do a bit of offense training. Now, I don't have any hawk radishes or super carrots left, which kind of makes me sad right now. But we can buy those again at some point. Do we have... No, we have absolutely none of those. Alright, cool. No problem. Let's see if we can get our power up right now. Because although all range beam is one of our po like most powerful abilities, again, it's not got that paralysis bonus. Now, I have an actual idea of um, how we can pick something fun up in this episode that might help us with that. A new ability, one might say. But for the time being, we also need to be hitting more uh, Oomphinder punches. Are you happy with that? No, you're still hungry. His happiness went up there. He's going to take two full sirloins like an absolute lad. I guess he just wanted to um, to munch down on his amazing prize from earlier. God damn it. I'm, I'm going to be so salty about that. Right, let's do a bit of HP training. Because if we can grind this stat up a little bit more, it's always a, it's always a plus. To be able to sort of sustain our fights a little bit more. Dude, Todd just freaked the fuck out. I don't know what was happening there. Now, we are going to be tired soon, but I think this is actually bedtime. It is. Do we need fed before bedtime? Of course we do. Now, we don't actually have to feed Todd before we go to sleep. I've spoke a bit about this in the past, but if you guys sort of missed the earlier episodes, if you put your Digimon to sleep without feeding them, it's not a care mistake, but for the sake of keeping our Digimon happy, we're just going to do it anyway, and to be honest, we're not that short of sirloin. Let's save all of our antics of the day and actually go out and do something exciting because although I really enjoy Carlin, you guys are probably want to see some battles and we have a really insane battle coming up. So again, I suspect this episode to be a bit of an extended one, but uh, I guess uh, you guys can you guys can enjoy that um, while, while the episode sort of sticks around. So we got three pieces of sirloin. It's only day 13, so I don't think our friend Jimojimon is back yet or Drimojimon rather. 
we are obviously going to head along to the mansion now. Do we have the mansion key on us right now? We do. Awesome. Cool. Now, one other thing I can talk about on the road to the mansion um, is a glitch that can sometimes occur in the, uh, the next few scenes. So, at some point when we get here, I am going to make a save state. And you guys won't sort of see anything to do with that. It's literally just me pushing a button on my keyboard. And the reason I want to make a save state here um, when I normally wouldn't is to sort of avoid dealing with the problems of this glitch. Now, what can happen is we have an, inter an interaction coming up that only happens on the, N the NTSC version of Digimon World 1. It's a glitch involving the mansion and someone that we speak to in there. Now, all that happens is the game doesn't crunch. It doesn't freeze or anything like that. But what it will actually do is your your character, Mamio, um, <clears throat> our, our sprite will get locked in a dialogue option in which Todd will continue to bounce up and down and things like that. But, um, <clears throat> pardon me, but we won't actually be able to further uh, the plot. We get stuck in that animation and so the only thing to do in that point is load up the game. So, again, in order to avoid that, I'm going to be making a save state and you guys won't ever see it. But hopefully we keep our fingers crossed that that doesn't happen. Dude, why is my webcam fuzzy? There we go. Alright, let's roll. Into the, the mansion and all of the uh, the goodness that happens in here. Now, I actually forgot to check about our health recovery items before we left, but honestly, I think we'll be more than fine. We still have to find my Otismon. Somewhere in here, my Otismon is, uh, is lurking and we need to find him. Now, he's not actually in this direction. In fact, nothing is in this direction. I didn't mean to come up here. There is something that I want to do real quick first. If we go over here, if you guys throw your minds back to the last time we were here, I guess it wasn't too long ago, but there are actually Digimon up in the attic of this place that I didn't want to challenge before because I was scared that they were extremely powerful. Now at the time, I'm pretty sure I thought they were called Datamon, but they're actually not. They're called Rockmon, and you guys are going to see us battling them just now because there is a, a special ability that we can pick up from these guys. So. What we're going to do here is uh, enter our first battle of the episode, I believe, and see how we handle these guys. We're fighting two at once, but honestly, not going to be a problem for Todd. He's an absolute monster, so let's see. You guys will see the skill that we're hoping to pick up, probably ASAP, because these guys are quite good at using it, and hopefully, with a bit of luck. <laughs> so, straight off the bat, the first thing uh, actually used on us is the move. Now... It's, a, it's, a, it's an ice move and I looked up the name of it before we started the episode so I would be able to be informative and tell you guys, but obviously I fucking forgot the name of it. It's like ice, ice something or other, I can't remember. Um, let's see if we can finish this guy off and hopefully we'll find out. Wouldn't it be cool to find out first time? Just like Thunder Justice. Only happened a few floors below us. Maybe we can pick up that luck from before. Eh? Am I right? Am I? Alright, okay, I'm not right. Okay, great. Cool. I'm going to reset this area as many times as possible guys and we are going we're going to not leave until we pick up this ability so we will see you guys in just a little second. Hey, we got it guys. So that was actually our fourth battle with these little f uh, our little friends here and we pick up what I believe is ice statue. I think that's the name of it. Yeah, I I just remembered that right there. But obviously you guys will know because I would I would have thrown up an annotation on the screen just before that. So let's have a look at Ice Statue in our inventory because hopefully this is going to be our replacement for the time being for like Megalospark and Thunder Justice because it does it does a decent amount of damage. 424 is the base, but obviously what we're most um, concerned about rather is our um, our stun. Sorry about that, guys. All right. What we, what we are about to encounter is our friend that is going to probably uh, glitch out the game. Now, I've made a save state, so if anything happens, we don't have we don't have to go too far back. We have a statue, and we won't ever lose that, so that's um, that's all said and done. So let's see if we can trigger um, some of the more se or some of the further secrets of the mansion. Now, one thing I didn't do the last time we came in here was walk into the dining room. Now, the dining room being quite a key area of the the place. This is how you actually activate what we didn't activate last time we were here. So, my Otismon is gone. We are now going to leave the mansion. Now, before I leave the mansion, I'm actually going to take a step up the stairs and then come back down the stairs. And I don't know if this actually prevents the glitch, but when I was um, testing it earlier on, this tended to fix it. So, let's see if we uh, encounter something exciting here. So, we're just about to leave and this pops up. I've got a bad feeling. So... Is, a, is the creepy mansion finally getting to us? Let's find out. Devimon! Hey, wait a minute! You're Todd! You, wait, you're Todd! Todd? I knew you'd come. Now, obviously, this isn't Todd. This is a bitch-ass 
um, basic version of Todd. Who are you? I'm Devimon, a dark angel. I hold the power of darkness. Well, dude, you sound extremely dramatic, that's for sure. Do you know something? We don't like dicks, and uh, we're going to smash you. My Otsmon is in the mansion. All right, so he is here somewhere, and maybe he's alive, maybe. Oh, well, that doesn't bode well. Did you do this? I don't know. All I know is that you're my enemy, so he doesn't know what he's doing, but he doesn't like us very much, and he's going to do this sort of uh, highland jig in which he floats in the sky. We tell him he's not going to get away, but obviously we're not going to be able to catch an airborne fucking Devimon, I don't think. Ha ha ha, and then off he pops. Now, this is normally where the glitch happens, guys, so let's see if it occurs. It actually looks like it's good. Say hi to my oldest mom for me, and then he jettisons out. And just like that, we actually dodge it. So right there is where it occurs, but we got, we got we got it fine. So he got away. I don't like that guy. So Devimon, what's going on with Devimon? He says that my oldest mom is some, somewhere here in the mansion, right? Now, one of the only places that we haven't accessed in the mansion thus far is this door here. It's always been sealed by a weird force, but now, miraculously... The, the weird force has been lifted and we have further access to new locations. So what is this in here? We've got what looks like a storeroom, but a very modern elevator built into the side of this room. So uh, let's go down to the underground lab, apparently. Now, I know some of you guys won't have seen this before and all this will be new to you. And I'm super excited for you guys because when I first came in here, I was fucking tripping balls um, back in the day. So let's see who we've got now. We actually... Uh, Aren't at full HP and stuff, but we don't really have to worry about that for the time being. We've got two Dark Drizzymon right here, and I don't think we're going to be able to dodge past those guys. So we're just going to we're just going to fight them and mess them up. Let's see if we can test Ice Statue and see how effective it actually is. Now I'm going to use this time to also top up on some of our stats. Let's uh, let's actually use all Range Beam until we clear some of these guys out together. There it is right there. We used it right there. Now I wanted to use all Range Beam. Because we're fighting an AoE battle to two enemies at once, it just makes sense to use area of effect abilities. Like this, where we can hopefully hit both, or that would be the plan. Now I think actually Megaton Punch can actually hit both. Or maybe it's maybe it's Buster Dive. I don't know. Let's say uh, let's tank that um, Inferno Flame Breath, whatever it is, and use a statue. Look how good this ability is, guys. Now it does actually take up a massive chunk of our uh, of our mana and stuff so we don't want to be using it when we don't have to so maybe we can just finish this guy off with a megadon punch and for the most part we are uh, we're a bit more stacked up in hp and mp than we were so first little battle of the, the underground lab down that was simple super easy get out of my face let's see what else we've got in here so up into the right we have two options we've got well up into the right we have a door here and we have a door up to the left now, this guy looks a bit more interesting than normal, as these guys are pretty much standard enemies. So obviously, we're going to check what looks to be not the main way first, if that makes sense. Because when I play games, I always like to investigate the little nooks and crannies in case you go into a new area in which there's a boss or something which advances the game, and then you miss important things. So we're obviously going to step in with these guys. Now, we're also going to make use of all range beam here again, hopefully, and uh, hit these guys both at the same time, using the same amount of MP. Now the good thing about all range beam is even when you get attacked, the animation usually starts and uh, and after that it can't be stopped. So as long as they don't dodge or block like that guy did, we should be good. Now I'm actually going to top up our health a little bit more here. And hopefully we finish this guy off. Because we're actually entering into an area where we kind of want our health items to count. And I'm actually kind of nervous about that actually. Now that I look at it, we have like four medium recoveries or some shit. Let me think this through. Let's for, let's first of all check in. Why are you always hungry, dude? Todd, man, you're do, you're you're getting like tyran uh, tyranimon. Right, we have a, a door here, right? Right? Isn't this a door? It's a black wall. And then this final line of dialogue. He lied to me. I think this is actually meant to be something along the lines of they deceived us, they tricked us, and it basically refers to the Digimon who were standing in front. Now, obviously, at all points of this game so far. Having enemies standing in front of what looks like a door means that there's an accessible location. But down here in the underground lab, it's actually just a massive troll. Dude, why are you so hungry, Todd? Why are you so hungry? Alright. Dude, he's, his weight is 63. Someone had a theory in the comments before that uh, when your Digimon gets like fatter, then he tends to eat more. I'm starting to believe that that's actually the case. Now, we have one large recovery and four medium recoveries. Now, I know for a fact we can beat this guy. It's what's beyond this door that I am worried about. Let's actually, um, 
fuck do we want to return it to the city? Let me have a little think, guys. All right, homies, after much speculation, I've decided that we're going to take this battle right here, but then probably, we're probably going to have to do a quick pit stop. Now, you guys won't see the pit stop, but um, I don't think we can beat this boss and then the boss that is waiting for us in the next room because we don't have full HP. And although we have Ice Statue, now, this is quite important as well. There's so many things going on here I want to talk to you guys about. We're actually going to get knocked into paralysis, so this is fine. That ability that our friend just used, I think this guy's name is Tekamon. He looks like a, a cross between, like, Metal Mamimon and Jiromon. He's very, very small. He has a sword, but he doesn't have the horns of Jiromon. We're going to hit defensive for a minute, and we're actually going to hit distance as well. We want him to be using this ability right here. Now, that is one of the abilities that I thought Metal Mamimon was going to use back in the last episode, you know, when I was waiting. That ability is called Full Potential and it's absolutely insane. It's a machine type ability and it's the equivalent of like Warcry and uh, Muscle Charge and all these things. So we're actually making quite good work of this guy. But we want to be picking up. We want to be picking up uh, Full Potential. Now we're going to hopefully cancel this and we actually put him into Paralysis mode. Now he's used the ability on us. He's used it, he's used it like two or three times. I don't know if that affects it but... If we were to pick up this ability right here, that would be absolutely insane. Now, Tekamon is going to drop an item. And we're going to see if we can pick up this. Now, again, as always, luck is against us. It's not likely we pick this up, but it would be so fucking insane. Because if we don't pick this up here, I'm pretty sure there's one other enemy we can learn it from in the game. And after that, it's the blackboard teaching. So, fingers crossed, and we'll see. Tekamon dropped special defense disc. And we did it. Holy fucking shit. Right, guys, just um, a lot of you guys are probably thinking, right, you know how I took the pause just before that battle to um, to think about whether we needed items, which we don't, by the way. I'm pretty sure I'm confident that we can actually take ourselves into the next area. Now, we don't need to go back to the city. I didn't, uh, I didn't have, like... You guys might are you probably suspect that like I had numerous goals at that battle. I don't know like I I swear to god that was like first time battle just like thunder justice that is fucking mind boggling. Let's go into our moves and definitely equip that shit, all right? Let's have a look. So we have we want to keep a statue. I think it's actually time we say goodbye to Megaton Punch. Let's have a look at this. Full potential, zero power cuz it does no damage. It costs 100 MP, but it is a uh, super super strong. I actually can't believe we just picked that shit up. That's fucking insane. We are going to keep a statue because it is going to be insanely important in the enemy we're about to fight. Now, enough talk. Let's have a look at this area because uh, this shit looks fucking weird, dude. So, I actually forget what this area is actually called. I missed it because I was so hyped about our new ability that we picked up. This reminds me a lot of Resident Evil 3 and uh, the Nemesis battle right at the end. There's all this sort of ugly goo nonsense going on. Like, this is so creepy. Let's uh, let's see what we've got ahead of us because, honestly, this place is kind of fucking me up a little bit. The underground lab, so we're still in here. And we have this big sort of open space. Hmm. What the fuck is going on here? It's like some sort of... looks like Aragog's Nest or some sort of weird shit like that. This is so strange. Just tons and tons of goo. And we actually have an interaction here. What the fuck's going on? Who's here? My Osmon? <laughs> Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hello? Who's- Eh, uh, a Skellin Digimon. Look at the size of this guy! Skull Greymon, ladies and gentlemen. Holy fuck. A lot of you guys will have known that he was waiting for us down here. A lot of you guys will be surprised. When I met this guy before in the past, holy shit, I was fucking terrified. As you guys know, one of the strongest ultimates in the game I don't feel life from him, but some evil. I wonder if he did something to my Otismon. If you don't tell me, I'll attack you, he says. He wants answers, we're not giving it to him, and so he's going to strike now. Skull Greymon is going to use a bunch of battle moves on us, so we don't have to worry too much. We're going to use full potential here. Look at the stats we get from that. One insta-cast move, guys. Look at that. Absolutely insane. Without a doubt, one of the most insane moves in the game. We're going to keep going, because why not, and hit this bitch with a fucking ice statue. He's going to use dynamic kick, but we ain't got time for that shit. Boom. A thousand damage with our ice statue because of our full potential. We're hopefully going to paralyze this guy and honestly make quick work of him. Now, earlier on, homies, I said at the start of this episode that Todd wasn't yet ready for like putting him into a grade A or maybe a grade S tournament. 
I think he's getting to the stage where he's starting to get ready. Now, I, I anticipated that we would pick up uh, new abilities this, this episode, but it was only Ice Statue I knew we would get. The fact that we pick up full potential is absolutely ridiculous. So, we're going to hit this guy with a full, um, with another Ice Statue, rather. We don't actually get a chance to paralyze him, but he hits us with a Combustion Dive. We miss all range beam like a legend. He's going to power up using Muscle Chart. No, that's Warcry, sorry. And he hit... Oh, fuck. Um, okay. 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 Alright, actually, that didn't do as much damage as I thought. Holy shit, that um, that got a bit out of control there. So, because we have actually been using uh, full potential, a bunch of our defences skyrocketed up through the roof. So, we, are, we aren't we are actually taking too much damage. Let's hit this guy with an all-range beam. This is probably not going to kill him, but our ultimate definitely will. Let's get in a position where we can see this guy. Because, honestly, I want to finish this guy off in style. This is usually, guys, normally this boss is super tough. But because we picked up that core ability... You can just see the magnitude of how powerful it actually is. Let's go over here a little bit. I would like him to stop kicking us in the butthole as we try and uh, get in a position. Let's take... We're going to tank an ability here and hit our ult. And we're going to finish this guy off once and for all. Skull Grey Edmon, ladies and gentlemen. One of my favourite Digimon in this game. And uh, one of the toughest bosses. Now, we made quick work as discussed, but... Todd's a badass, man. Todd's getting there. He's getting there, guys. He's ascending to Super Saiyan. So... Skull Greymon is going to give us 3.5k. He's going to drop us a new item as well, I believe. Probably a chip of some kind. Uh, an offense chip. Alright, cool. So we actually have a lot of offense chips now that I think about it. But we're never going to turn our nose up. And just like that, Skull Greymon tells us he's going to attack us. But then he also goes down into like small curly mode and then vanishes. I guess that's meant to be the game's way of showing him disintegrating or some shit. But now that we've done that, we can go and save my Otismon. Now... There are actually a few more glitches coming up um, in this version of the game, guys. So I'm just actually going to hit another quick save and hopefully avoid that. So we have uh, we've defeated Skull Greymon, and I'm actually I actually can't remember where we actually go here. Is it further back here? No, this is just a dead end. Todd's going to need the bathroom. Honestly, I don't blame him because I would need the bathroom after fighting Skull Greymon in a one v one. Let's find out where my Otismon is now. I believe he's in a cage or some shit down here actually can't remember so we're just gonna have to do a tiny bit of exploring and find him he should be around here somewhere all oh, right okay so he's actually right here with some of his cronies i guess this area was barred off the first time we came through it. i didn't notice my oh man, bro what's going on are you all right ah you've rescued me again yeah fuck yeah we have dude we're gonna need to be start um getting contracted out by you for the amount of times we've carried your ass out of this place what happened have you seen devimon yeah, we actually did. He was a bit of a cunt and he tried to break our game. I have, he's mean. We don't like him that much. He ruined my research with evil. Dude, that sounds so nasty. You research on Skull Greymon? I was collecting bones and putting them together. I'll be more careful. So actually, my oldest one was the one that was sort of doing tests. Devimon came in and turned his shit upside down and made Skull Greymon out of all that nonsense. Devimon is awful, yeah. We're starting to get, we're starting to get that. I know him well. What do you mean? He was always he was always tricky, but never this bad. He never tried to make a skull grey one on me before. Is what we're saying. Maybe he's being brainwashed by someone. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Maybe he could uh, he could be part of your group if he was himself. So my Osmond's actually kind of given us a bit of a foreshadowing here that perhaps if Davymon comes back to census, he might actually come to the town. So we can actually talk to the back one. Oh, we can. Backy. Well, I guess that was a waste of time anyway. Um, and my Otismon's actually going to just chill here. He says what happened over and over. I'll j oh, sorry. He actually says, I'll join you at the arena. Some of my men miss me. And like that, guys, I am pretty sure that is my Otismon um, Dunzo. Now, we don't actually get another sort of interaction telling us that he's uh, joined the city or anything like that. But unless the game has actually glitched out and I haven't realised it just yet. Oh, these guys are back, are they? Hmm. Do I want to take this battle? Can we sneak past? That would be great. Okay, cool. Yeah, I want to just have a quick look at the top deck of the mansion. Make sure that um, my Osmon doesn't actually reappear anywhere up here. I honestly, honestly don't think he does. But, uh, yeah. The depths of uh, Greylord's mansion, guys. How did you like the basement nonsense? Again, our Skull Greymon battle was almost a little underwhelming. But simply because Todd is just a fucking demon. Um, so, yeah. It looks like... Oh, my Osmon is actually here. Dude, what the fuck? How did you get here? Hello? Thanks for your help. I'll show you my research. All right, cool. So we actually do have more interactions. I didn't expect this, but cool. Sometimes if Metal Greymon fades away, he'll 
The, right, okay, so this is a glitch. There's a missing bit of text here, and I think it means Digivolve into Skullgreymon is the missing text. Bakemon, Devimon, and Phoenixmon are also able to Digivolve in that way. So this guy actually gives you a few clues about death Digivolution, which I guess kind of makes sense, because we're in the mansion, and we are sort of dealing with all the sort of spooky things associated with death, lots of ghosts and shit. I don't know uh, who they were at birth, the Digivolution charts don't say. So, again, Myotismon is just going to give us some clues. I don't think he says anything else. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. And th for the most part, that's it. So, let's uh, jettison back to um, File City and deposit some of these chips in the bank. We have had such a successful episode, guys. <laughs> Other than something that may or may not have happened with Metal Mamimon in the curling rink, we picked up two abilities, one as planned, one not as planned. We beat one of the toughest ultimates in the game, and we also cleared the mansion once and for all. Dude, we are looking so cosy right now. Let's uh, talk to Falklon. Defense chip, bank. And offense chip bank. Let's have a look at our chips in a second. Is there anything else we want to stick in here? Special defense disc, I guess. We can turf in there as well. And we don't need the mansion key anymore either, actually. So let's uh, let's have a look at some of our, our chips. Because they, they're starting to stack up here. So from the top down, we have three offense chips, three defense chips, four brain chips, two quick chips, seven HP chips, guys. And three MP. So if we are wanting to raise ourselves a Skull Greymon after Todd... I think it's looking like it is 100% possible. So, it's just touched into a new day. And we're going to go around and collect the meat. And then round this episode off. <laughs> because this episode's been insane. Let's uh, let's actually check. Day 14. I actually think Dromojimon comes back today. If it's not today, it's tomorrow. But we will leave that for next episode. Because we are actually carrying this on longer than it should be anyway. But, guys, I had a really, really enjoyable time playing this, um, this part of the playthrough. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching it too. I swear again, it's up to you guys. Honestly, I can only give you guys my word, but I never loaded up and uh, I never tried to grind full potential. It just happened first time. Honest to God. I can't believe that happened. I am super, super stoked for that. Um, next episode. Next episode. We are going to be age 15, so we have about three to four days left with Todd. Now, honestly, I want to put Todd in the arena and try and win us either another A grade tournament, because that has the ability to give us money, give us a, potentially a really good item, but also raise our tamer level. We haven't seen that yet, but we also haven't done that many tournaments. I would like to put Todd in for an A rank or S rank type tournament. S is actually going to be super insane, because we have so many ultimate Digimon in the city now that that shit would be fucking... I don't even want to think about how difficult that would be, so... At some point, we will make that happen with Todd. We will be back tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching this far through. If you're still here with us at the end of the ep. If you enjoyed the episode, fire us a like. Um, I'm going to be tweeting this episode out as always as well. So if you guys don't follow the Twitter, make sure you jump on there. And, uh, and you can get any updates on the playthrough. But all that being said, thank you so much for watching. We will see you guys tomorrow. And, uh, and see what else Todd's got in store for us. Thanks for watching guys. See you later.